to have a mind then is not to possess some special sort of object. Really to have a mind is to have certain capacities or abilities, like the capacity to think and the capacity to feel. And then the question is, how does the brain give rise to these capacities? According to one paradigm, the mind is uh, a certain kind of computer. If it's theoretically feasible to create a machine that thinks, the question arises, how do we know if we've succeeded? How can we tell if my super intelligent computer has achieved consciousness? It's clear that machines can have representational states. For example, a robot fitted with sensors that can process information and react to the environment is capable of accumulating and acting on data all on its own. But is that enough to constitute thinking? While the functionalist view would say yes, the American philosopher John Searle answers with an emphatic no. To support his position, he came up with his Chinese Room thought experiment. Suppose we've designed a computer that behaves as if it understands Chinese. That is, it takes in Chinese symbols and outputs relevant responses. In fact, this computer performs so convincingly that it passes the Turing test with ease. In other words, it seems to understand Chinese. Now, imagine we put an English-speaking person inside the computer, in a small room where he receives the Chinese symbols through a slot in the door. He takes the symbols, compares them to a large lookup table, which in essence is what the computer does, and then replies, using the symbols indicated by the table. While this scenario meets Turing's criteria, Searle argues that this person would have no understanding of what he was saying. He would just be mindlessly manipulating symbols without any sense of what they actually mean. So the point that Searle is making is, you can manipulate language according to its purely syntactic or phonological or orthographic features not know what it meant. He thinks that computers do only that. So he thinks that what computers do is, in a fundamental way, disanalogous to what human minds do.